Thanks for joining us. Topping news this evening, the Prime Minister keeping a promise made earlier this week. He, along with a delegation this morning, traveled to North Andrus to personally meet, console and comfort all those grappling with the loss of loved ones following that fatal plane crash. Our JCN's Amajal Knowles has the story. 42-year-old pilot Darren Clark, 49-year-old mother of two Margaret Adderley, father of two Valentino Cardinal Knowles, Father of one Carter Campbell and mother and daughter Desiree Russell and 10-year-old Destiny Wilson. The names of the six souls Bahamas Christian Council President Dalton Fernando prayed for when he joined Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis on a visit to the grief-shaken community of North Andrus. Speaking above intermittent Wales, the PM offered these words of encouragement to the bereaved. The question to our President behind such an event by me, by us. And I can't know what I'm just going to do. Yeah, not yet. We can't do it. 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 Dr. Minnis also committed the government's support to assist the family as much as possible for North Andrews MP Colton Boleg. The connection to all the victims is personal. As my colleague said, you all know the people is going to enjoy for the night. But we know that we have joy to look forward to the point. If you have chosen me, like I've said before, this is when it's going to stand most. Because I'm going to be here. Night and day. For you, it's the pain that you feel. I feel that. I grew up and I know person. Every one of them. As a matter of fact, I had a special assembly here on, on Monday. Mm -hmm. and my mother and daughter are not doing it. Mm -hmm. I told the last people I greeted before I left by the assembly. The Prime Minister has promised that counselors will be available next week not only for the victim's family, but the entire community. Meantime, a memorial is planned for next week. For JCN News, I'm Amajal Knowles. Two days since the tragedy and efforts continue to recover the full wreckage of that crashed Aztec jet. Civil aviation accident investigator Delvin Major telling our news team that portions of the aircraft was found on Thursday in about 10 feet of water. However, at this point, it's still too early to determine if the plane crashed due to inclement weather or otherwise. Then it'll be a while before we're able to definitively say what all took place. But like I say, we did not find, or well, we're not able to recover. Um, any part of the aircraft that would lead us to where the mechanical took place. That because it happened so close to the tongue of the ocean, all of that remains, all those um, the aircraft part, parts uh, more than likely were washed towards the ocean because of the current underwater currents that would have been pulled towards the deep part of the ocean. So we, we will never recover those. But what we were able to recover was not able to give us any clue as to where the mechanical may have played a role. An extensive search for all on board the flight is also still underway. This following confirmation that the remains of a few have been recovered. Understandably, still in shock is North Andrus MP Carlton Bolle. Well, you know, at this time right now, everything is just a shock. Uh, it has the island in a, in a solemn mode. And, you know, we want to give these people time to breathe, to degrees. And, you know, I myself need time, so I know how it is on the family. Because when you lost a relative or a loved one like that, it's very hard. And this island is very close to it. And you got to give the people time to grieve. The crash comes as Androgians are still reeling from the devastation wrought by Category 3 Hurricane Matthew that devastated several of that island's communities. Wednesday's tragic plane crash has renewed concerns about the oversight of civil aviation industry. The issue was the focus of the discussion on Love 97's daily talk show, Issues of the Day, with some callers pressing the need for regulations. That same caller went on to stress the importance of charter pilots being held to the same standards as those flying commercial flights. Also calling into the show was former Bahamas Air Chairman Lester Turnquest, who expressed confidence and comfort with the technical expertise of civil aviation, stressing that what is man-made must be maintained. 
Again, from all reports, the ill-fated twin-engine Aztec left San Andres after 8 a.m. on Wednesday en route to New Providence when it began experiencing problems and crashed in waters off Mastic Point. Six people, including the pilot, were on board. You're watching JCN News. There's more after this. This segment of the news was brought to you by Alive.